Just off the southeast coast of Africa is an island called Madagascar, and on it, its largest predator is the fossa. The fossa is closely related to the mongoose family. Even though to some it resembles a cat, it is like a cat, it has large eyes and retractable claws, which helps it climb around the forest. You can see it is a very agile predator. It has to be, as its main food source are lemurs, which have amazing skills of leaping from tree to tree. Here is a lemur. To us, it may be cute. To a fossa, it's lunch. It'll also use these claws to hold its prey, as its large, sharp canine teeth sink into it for the kill bite. And these fossa may hunt in the day or in the nighttime. Besides lemurs, they will eat rodents, birds, and reptiles. It prefers to live far away from the human population, which is 20 million and growing. Like most predators living in an area with a growing human population, their population drops. As new research is showing, the fossa is now around only 2,500 individuals living in the wild. And even though they live alone, sometimes researchers have seen them hunting in small groups to team up to kill the larger species of lemurs. These animals have only really been researched just a small amount for the past 15 years. A fossa can be over 20 pounds, and with that long tail, they can grow to be over 5 feet long. They can have a home range that is 5 to 10 miles long. In these home ranges, the trees are being chopped down on the island at an alarming rate. This makes their population split up and small, and then the gene pool won't get spread around enough, which always hurts a species. A lot of people on the island are poor, so trying to control one of the ways for them to earn a living is a very tough situation. And with the loss of the forest, which is what a fossa used for its habitat, they'll roam to areas that people live. And where there is people, there are livestock. And if a fossa kills a chicken, you can count that the people will turn around and retaliate and trap and then kill the fossa. There is a folklore, sort of similar to that in Africa about the hyena, that the fossa is a bad or evil animal. But we know that even though that lemurs are cute and all, to maintain a healthy planet, we need predators amazing predators like the fossa. So hopefully, with enough interest, people will realize that it is a good thing to keep this animal around, and that tourists will come to the island and help in ecotourism to see such amazing wildlife like the fossa.